The Shugborough Estate, located near Great Haywood in Staffordshire, has been home to the Anson family since 1624, when William Anson acquired the estate from the Whitby family. The land William purchased housed a moated medieval mansion, and in around 1695, his grandson demolished this building for materials to use when building his new hall. The current hall has been extended and altered over 300 years since its construction, and it is this complicated phasing that Wessex archaeology has been investigating. William Anson III's original hall from the late 17th century has been identified as the core central part of the current building. In 1720, Thomas Anson inherited the estate and in the mid-18th century he added extensions to the east and west in the form of pavilions with single-storey link blocks connecting them. In the 1760s, Thomas employed the architect James Stewart to enlarge the house by raising the height of the link blocks. In 1773, Thomas's nephew George Adams inherited the estate, which was then passed on to his son Thomas. He employed Samuel Wyatt to make extensive changes to the hall, including the addition of the imposing portico. In the early 19th century, the central dining room was extended to the west and a large saloon, now the red drawing room, was constructed to the northwest corner of the property. The house was further altered in the early 20th century with an extension to the billiard room. So as you can see, Shugborough Hall has evolved from a modest square building in the late 17th century to the imposing stately home we see today. The hall, itself a Grade 1 listed building, is situated within a Grade 1 designed landscape of parkland, woodland and monuments. Amongst these are buildings such as the Tower of the Winds, designed by James Stewart, based on the Horologium of Andronicus Carestes. This octagonal plan building was completed in around 1765, the old village of Shugborough having been removed to make way for it. Another building on the estate, important in its own right, is a Chinese house erected in 1747 and one of the earliest examples of chinoiserie in the country. East of the hall and connecting the estate to Great Haywood is the Essex Bridge. This multi-span bridge crosses the River Trent and has existed in its current stone form since at least 1679. This stone bridge replaced an earlier timber structure that was certainly in use in the 16th century. Of course, no stately home could function without a large working staff to keep it running and to keep the building maintained. To the south of the main hall is an extensive service wing, adjoining stables and other outbuildings. Many of these structures are as old as the earliest parts of the main hall and like the hall, they have been extensively altered throughout their history. Working with the National Trust, who have owned the property since 1960 and recently taken over the management of the estate, Wessex Archaeology have undertaken a series of talks and workshops for the community. These have enabled people to go behind the scenes at Shrugborough and gain an insight into the secrets of a stately home.